how to set up ChatGPT GPT GPT-5 in five minutes, step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. Now today we're going to be taking a quick look at GPT-5, the latest model by ChatGPT. This is truly a innovative model that can simplify your research and your queries because GPT-5 is something that provides more comprehensive results and provides you with better results. Now GPT-5 has expert intelligence for everyone with the best response every time. It's great at coding. It has an expressive writing partner. It's more useful when it comes to health answers and it is safer and more accurate. So if you're looking to get started with ChatGPT, simply head on over into openai.com and you're going to sign into your ChatGPT account. And just like so, you have access to GPT-5, which is even available on the free version of ChatGPT. So what exactly should you be expecting? Well, GPT-5 was launched on the 7th of August, and this is going to be replacing the older models like 4.5 or all of the other series. And it has some advanced capabilities with PhD level performance across coding, math, health, and multi-model tasks with expanded context views with up to 2,050 259,000 tokens, which was previously at only 200k, and stronger handling of longer text, code, and documents. So if I ask GPT-5 for a really simple question, which is to tell me a 500 word story, it's going to proceed and it's going to give me a 500 word story. It's short, sweet, with a little twist, and it's going to ensure that the number of words are accurate to the amount of words that I have asked it to type. Now, within GPT-5, there are different variants which we're going to be taking a look at. So I can also give you a companion 500 word story set in the same world so it feels like a connected anthology. Would you like me to do that? And this is not the type of, you know, ending question that you usually would have gotten with GPT-4. And this is the story the clockmaker's gift in the heart of a sleepy cobblestone town. So it has written me the entire thing. Now, from here, if I want to proceed with coding, all I need to do is I need to ask it to build me a simple game and then from here it's going to get started now one thing you can see is that it's going to create a answer that is going to be detailed but if you want a quick answer if you think that the computing knowledge is not going to be that heavy for this answer if it's taking too much time you can ask it to answer very quickly as well and right now this has started coding it has completed and comprehended our answer but i'm going to display how you can get a quick answer with gpt5 as well so this is the code that it is running and after we have the code written out, we can click on run code on the top right to actually run our canvas. And now I'm going to click on run the code and just like so, this is going to be my game. So it has created a game called cache the dot. Click the moving dot to score before the time runs out. On the right, we have the rules as well as the difficulty, the time that I want to play, the progress, as well as space to start slash pause. I'm going to click on start game like so and then I have to just cache the dot and then you guys can see this is what the game is. It's a really simple basic game that I can just play with GPT like so, just like so. And from here you guys can see on the right side it is giving me the progress as well as the timer and then the trophies that we have as well. And then I can just proceed and you guys can see the game is getting more difficult as time is passing. So on the right side my final score is 6. The game has started and now I can reset this if I want or click on pause if I want to pause the game. Now this is just one simple example. If I ask it to tell me something creative like so. And here are a few imaginative things. The library only exists 3.17 a.m. From here you guys can see it is just giving me a you know creative answer. Now from here I'm going to ask it to make a bit more of a detailed question or give it a detailed question to answer to. So give me 10 ideas for quantitative research in IO Psych. And then from here, it's going to proceed just like so. Now, this is based upon some of our previous queries and questions as well. Now, if I click on the top left where it says chat GPT thinking, I can select this model for more comprehensive answers because this specific model is built for more details as well as deeper research. So if I select GPT-5 and select GPT-5 thinking, which is only accessible if you do have ChatGPT+, which we will be discussing at the end of this video. So I'm going to ask it to do a literature review on my topic, which is job crafting, leader humor, and innovative 
work behavior and now i'm going to just ask you to do my literature review so i'm gonna get a quick answer simply by clicking on get quick answer and it's going to give me a quick answer however if i want a more detailed answer then it's going to give me my more detailed answer if i let it think now this is another really amazing thing that i've noted about gpt5 is that even with their more detailed answers it is way quicker than using agent mode individually if you were using agent mode in the past or deep research mode it's going to yield you the same result sometimes without needing to go into agent mode but if you are using Using agent mode deep research or study and learn or any of the other models with GPT-5 it's going to give you such amazing results because it is able to find the balance between your conversation and understand your conversation more thoughtfully and more engagingly now keep in mind that this is going to be limited on the free version so if you're on the free version of GPT-5 you only have the flagship model and you cannot get access to the older models and select them by yourself this has been removed and there's there's no manual model selection on ChatGPT, but one thing I have noticed is that there is improved accuracy, reasoning, and reduced hallucination rates when it comes to just any general query. And when it comes to high-level coding, health and reasoning, and long text handling, GPT-5 is really amazing. So if I ask it to write a 5,000 word essay on the evolution of space exploration it is able to yield exactly 5000 words it's able to build my outline it's able to give the general headings as well as adding our subsets and our subheadings i can write this in a continuous fully fleshed narrative rather than a segmented list i'll deliver it as a single coherent piece with smooth transitions do you want me to start from ancient astronomy and carry forward chronologically or would you prefer a thematic approach that jumps between technological political or cultural dimensions so you guys can see it has actually asked me a question on how i want my essay to be structured because this is a rather long essay and just like so i'll write a full 5000 word chronological essay from ancient astronomy through modern space and time and just like so our essay is being written and we can see our essay as it is being typed out now ancient mode is far superior on gpt5 with deep research enabled as well as study mode which helps you in understanding key concepts however if you want agent mode or study modes then you do need to upgrade to chat gpt plus for 20 dollars a month or pro for 200 dollars a month keep in mind that with plus there is again some limitation when it comes to voice mode but with the pro version you have voice mode with video and screen sharing and access to deep research and multiple reasoning models. Now, one feature that is going to be the most used feature when it comes to businesses and enterprises is going to be integration with your outside tools. So what you can do now with GPT-5 is click on more and click on Google Drive, OneDrive, SharePoint, or connect other applications into GPT and use GPT to attend your meetings, to support you in meetings, and for your chat GPT entity to serve as your virtual assistant, to serve as a sidekick for your daily business tasks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.